Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is to explore the different ways that a narcissistic person will pretend to apologise to you. However, when they apologise to you, they do it in such a format where they are so certain that they are in the right that you end up doubting yourself, blaming yourself, questioning yourself and believing in the very person who is trying to gaslight your reality so that they can get away with the things they're doing to you because they've blamed you and you're busy blaming and changing yourself to try and become a better person for them because they're unable and unwell unwilling to become a better person for themselves. When it comes to narcissistic people, they are going to do something to hurt you, to punish you, to get one over on you. As they are exploitative people and self-entitled people, they believe that they should just be able to do this. And they, they lack the empathy to care. They don't feel remorseful. They just, they're never sorry that they've done something to hurt you. They're sorry that they got caught, which is why they're going to go all out. And one of the first things they will try to do is gaslight your reality into believing that they never said that, they never did that, that never happened. You're imagining things, you're going crazy. Or blaming you by claiming it was your fault. If you hadn't, then they wouldn't. And they are so certain in their approach to their communication with you that you're the one that walks away questioning yourself, doubting yourself, blaming yourself, feeling ashamed for calling them out on what they actually did to you. They can accuse you of having trust issues, of going through their things. And one of the most confusing things about this is it can potentially be a half truth. We can often know something and we just, we just know it. However, as we're human, we, we want the evidence, we want the facts, we want to know that that definitely happened or that was definitely done. We, we can't always just trust our instincts. So when we know something, we can then go snooping to find the evidence, in which case you might end up going through a narcissistic person's phone. It's not right, you shouldn't do it. However, you might end up doing it. And then when you find the bit of information that connects the dots that your instincts were trying to tell you, your first reaction might be to go to them and say, see, I knew it. Because what you're doing is actually telling yourself that I knew it. I just didn't know it until I knew it. However, you want to go and show them that you knew and they're just going to turn around and say, wow, you've been through my things. I thought I could trust you. And because you know you shouldn't go through their things, you're the one that's then been belittled by them and shamed by them and shamed by yourself for going through their things, for turning into behaviour that's unlike yourself, that you end up thinking, oh, I shouldn't have really gone through their things. And then they justify away what you found to the point where you doubt yourself and blame yourself and end up apologising to them for what they've done to you. They might go all out to book an expensive trip or take you somewhere or buy you an expensive gift. They'll buy you an expensive gift that you don't want. So when you speak to them about this, they'll call you ungrateful or they'll buy you a gift that they want, something that doesn't fit you but happens to fit them. And then when you try and explain this to them, they'll accuse you of being ungrateful. Or they'll book a trip knowing full well that you can't get out of work. And then they'll accuse you of being ungrateful. So you find yourself working yourself around them to apologise to them. And they're just going to claim they tried to make their the effort. It's not their fault that you don't appreciate them. They are looking to regain control of the situation. And one way they can apologise to you is by claiming that they were only joking, they were only messing around. It's not your, it's not their fault that you're too serious. It's not their fault that you're too sensitive. It's not their fault that you can't take a joke. Again, as they are so certain because they're arrogant that they are in the right, you question your reactions to their actions. 
rather than how their actions have made you feel. Because they're looking to make you feel bad so that you end up apologising to them for the very things they're doing to you. And they're going to shift the blame. And one way they shift the blame is by just turning around and claiming, I'm sorry, you feel that way. So again, you question whether your feelings are in the wrong and not their actions, not their mistreatment towards you because they feel entitled to do as they please. They don't want to recognise how their behaviour might be in the wrong. They just want to recognise how your response to their behaviour is in the wrong, how you finding out about them is you going against them and they can't trust you. Catch a narcissistic person cheating and they will never trust you again. They might just make out that they're being the bigger person when they will just turn around and say, sorry for whatever you think I did. I've already apologised to this. Can't you just get over it? They're making out that they're moving on and they're growing and they're changing and that you're the one that's hung up on your past. When in reality, nothing gets resolved with them and the things they do as they don't take responsibility for doing them, they continue to do these things and they continue to hurt you, yet they continue to blame you so you don't recognise who they are as a person and you continue to try and make it work with the very person who's trying to destroy you. When it comes to apologies, people need to be able to recognise their behaviour and take responsibility for their behaviour. Be able to admit to fault, admit to making a mistake, admit to the part that they played. They need to be able to feel remorseful so that they don't repeat the behaviour that's hurt somebody that they claim to care about and someone who does care about another person would feel remorseful and wouldn't want to repeat behaviour that's hurt somebody that they care about and they'd want to repair the damage which is paying the price of the consequences to the actions. That's a genuine person, a genuine person recognises their behaviour. We might not always want to admit to it, however, we can recognise our behaviour, take responsibility for our behaviour, want to repair the damage and feel remorseful. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they don't do responsibility. That's somebody else's fault. They don't feel remorseful. They lack the empathy to care. They don't want to take responsibility because they're entitled to do as they please and they don't want to repair any damage because it wasn't their fault. It's up to you to repair the damage. When it comes to somebody who you can't communicate with, who makes you feel worse for trying to approach them, to discuss things with them. Somebody who is that certain that you end up more confused around them. You need to listen to your instincts, listen to your judgment and not listen to the words of those whose words create that self-doubt within you. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.